Hi and welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to see how to create a teleportation effect like this. Uh, the player will slowly move upward and dissolve and then teleport to the new location. So we'll be using the Unity VFX graph and the shader graph together for this effect. So the initial effect that is with the particles and the object moving upward is done using VFX graph and the dissolving effect is done using the shader graph. So to get started, create an empty VFX graph, go to create and then go to visual effects, visual effect graph. Let's call this graph as teleport. Then let's create a game object that takes in the VFX asset. So you can go to visual effects and visual effect. So I already have a teleport out game object that takes in that visual effect graph. I'm going to assign the teleport VFX graph to the asset template and let's click on edit. So you'll have a simple particle system inside the VFX graph. Let's make some space so we can add more blocks here. So the first thing that we need to do is we need, we don't need any velocity in the X and the Z, only in the Y direction. Then we need to set the shape to a circle. Okay. So as you can see, the circle is now vertical. We want it on the floor. So expand this arc circle option and under transform in the angle, rotate it in the x-axis by 90. So this seems to be okay. Now let's increase the number of particles to 500 in the spawn and 500 under the capacity of the initial particle. Now to adjust the look of the particle, just go to the output particle quad context and here select the default particle, it's default hyphen particle. So once that is selected, you can just go to the size and set the size to something smaller like this. Set the blend mode to additive and under color, let's set the initial color to something like purple. Okay, and increase the intensity to two. Then the ending color can be bluish, light blue, and also increase the intensity by two. Now we want the particles to be from the volume and not just from the surface of the circle. So under the set position arc circle block, set the position mode to volume. Now we want the mesh to slowly move upward and dissolve and disappear. So for that, for the mesh to move upward, we are going to use the VFX graph and for the mesh to dissolve, we are going to use the shader graph. So as of now, just create another node and go to system and empty particle system. So this will not be inherited from the already existing one. This will be a separate particle system. So here we are going to add a single burst because it will be only one mesh and we are going to set the count to one. And under initialize particle, we're going to set the capacity to one. So here in the output particle quad, we don't need this context because we're going to have an output mesh. So we'll select the output particle mesh. So you can see I have a shader graph option here. If you don't see this option, go to edit, preferences, and under visual effects, make sure experimental operator blocks is checked. Now the capsule is very small, so we won't be able to see that. So we'll create a block called as set scale and we'll set the scale to like 10 times in the X, Y, and Z. And before we go ahead and edit this, we are going to create a shader graph. The complete tutorial, you can watch our video on how to create a dissolved shader. For the purpose of this tutorial, we have created a simple shader. So you can just right click and go to create. And you can go to shader graph and you can go to URP and you can create a lit shader graph. So once that is done, just go to your shader graph, just double click to open it. So you will only have these two contexts, the vertex and the fragment. All you have to do is add a simple noise block and connect it to the alpha and create a parameter here, a float parameter called alpha clip and connect it to the alpha clip threshold. Then add another parameter called color and connect it to the emission. Now you also have to go to the graph inspector and make sure support VFX graph is checked. And if you don't see the alpha and the alpha clip threshold, make sure you select transparent here in the surface type and here alpha clipping is also checked. So that's it, this is a very simple shader. You can watch the other video for more details and just save this asset and go back to teleport and here you'll be able to select the dissolve shader. 
If you're not able to select, that means you've not enabled VFX graph support in the shader graph. Now here in the alpha clip, we have to change the value from zero to one slowly so that it starts dissolving. So we'll set the color to something like a bright yellow so that we are able to see the effect. So to change the value from zero to one slowly over lifetime, we're going to use a sample curve. Okay, and make sure you make it zero to one. Okay, and then connect it to the alpha clip. But still it won't change until you give a time input to this. So there's another block called age over lifetime. So this will change from zero to one depending on the age of the particle. So now if we recompile it, you can see that it slowly dissolves. Now we want this to happen after a small delay. So we want the small particles to come up first. Then we want this particle to come and dissolve. So we'll go and set the delay to two seconds. So if we compile it, so first these small particles come, then the major mesh is displayed and it slowly dissolves. And the dissolve is really fast. So let's go ahead and add a lifetime here and set the lifetime to five. And we also want the particle to slowly move upwards during the lifetime. So we'll use the same sample curve and then we'll multiply this so that we can control the speed at which it moves. So we'll add a multiply block and we'll add a set position block under the update. Okay, so we want it to move only in the upward direction. So we'll set only the Y position. And we'll multiply this by two. So you can see that it is slowly moving upwards and dissolving. So if you want it to move faster, you can just multiply, increase the multiplication value here and recompile. So it will move much faster and to a larger distance. Now we don't want the capsule to move upward. We want this wizard's mesh to move upward. So make sure you select the wizard mesh here. Okay. And then now if we recompile, you can see that the wizard is way larger than the capsule. So you can here in set scale, we can set it to 0.1 in the X, 0.1 in the Y, and 0.1 in the Z. And now if we go here and recompile our VFX graph, so you can see the size of the wizard is okay, but the orientation is not. So under initialize particle, we're going to say create block and we're going to search for set angle and we are going to rotate it in the x-axis by 90. I think it's minus 90, yeah. So let's recompile. So now the orange particle comes and it slowly goes up and disappears. So now the effect is ready, but for the actual teleportation, for the player to move from one position to another, we will have to use a script. So let's go back to our scene. And here we have an empty game object called Teleportation Manager, which has a teleport script attached to it. So let's open it for editing. So under this, we have three serialized fields. That means variables that we can control from Unity Editor. So one is a player game object. The other is the teleportation effect. And the other is our target position. So in our start function, what we're going to do is we're going to enable the teleportation effect so it will be disabled by default and then we are going to invoke the move player function after five seconds so under the move player function we are going to set the player position to the target position and we are going to disable the teleportation effect so that's it now we go back to unity and we have to disable the teleportation game object and under teleportation manager make sure you assign the player teleportation effect and the new position and now if we hit play so you can see that the effect is starting and slowly the ghost is coming up and disappearing and the player is going to the new position. With this tutorial, now you know how to use a shader graph with VFX graph and to create a cool looking teleportation effect. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial.